are getting into the stuff already. <laughs> I thought those were, okay, I thought those were shower heads. I actually did too when I walked by. And so did <laughs> Brian, our floor director. So did you think they were I shower still don't know what they are. Oh, okay, well, perfect. Let's just go with okay, their shower heads. But apparently they're not. A anyway, Andy, I don't know if that's where you want to start. <laughs> let me let me start. Yeah, yeah you go. You take go. it away. All right. First of all, this is really cool, okay? This is a digital clock that, believe it or not, is powered by water. I just filled it up with some water and suddenly, look at it, it works. So That's no batteries? It? That's it, no batteries, yeah. no batteries so cool. included. So it's using the ions in the water mm -hmm. to, to basically power, power this, which doesn't require too much energy. Right. But what's cool is that um, after about six months, you have to replace the water because all the ions are gone. And mm -hmm. so what's gonna happen is it'll start turning into a white substancey look. Yeah. And then that's when you know that, you know, it's time to change, change it. But it's funny, I was reading the instructions to like, don't drink it. It goes, <laughs> like, yeah, it goes bad. <laughs> Reach for the mug Eventually and goes pick up the clock instead. <laughs> well, you know, if you're really hungover and you're yeah. just like, <laughs> <laughs> Does it act as an alarm clock too? It also acts as an alarm clock. Really? So there's two versions. There's that one and this one as well. Um, which Most is really cool. environmentally like friendly clock. clock out there. You know, Wesley, you should go outside and capture some of that rainwater and uh, exactly. you know, yeah. start charging they all these devices. Totally advice. sustainable. Yeah. Is, the yeah. only thing I would say about this being an alarm clock is if you're not wanting to wake up and you toss your alarm clock on the <laughs> burst everywhere. Or you know what you could do? If you could rig it so that it sprays water on your face. That would be cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Real that would wake be cool. up call. That'll wake you up. I, uh, sure. I've also noticed there is no snooze button on here, so. Oh, that's oh. not fun. So uh, you just gotta get up. You have to put it the other side of the room so you get up. Yeah. I, I do a little dance and then get back into bed, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so how much is this and where do you get it? Uh, it's about $30. It's mm -hmm. from a company called Betel. And uh, it, you, if you go on our website, we'll, we'll have the link on there as well. Okay. So water bucks. clocks. Now, Save the, on batteries. The interesting thing is when they first uh, said that they had a water clock, I thought it was like the ancient water clocks where they would just drip out of a bowl. And right. that's how they used to tell time. And so I was like, oh, you know. You know, it's a, it's a new one, but this is like water clock 2.0. We're <laughs> actually using the energy inside the yeah. water. I'm excited for that company to invent everything else that's going to be powered by water. Like remote control. Yes. That would be cool. Yes. Teleprompter. <laughs> okay, We'd go else? down for sure. Where, where are we going next? Okay, let's, let's talk about uh, these. The, the, light, the light bulb yeah, shower heads? That you thought were shower heads. So this is a company from called Verbatim. Now, Verbatim only makes external hard drives. Like here's a... a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's such a tiny little hard drive. Yeah, and it's USB 3 How as many well. gigs? 500, half a terabyte. Wow. So oh, 500 megabytes. They used to be so Or 500 big. gigs, sorry. That's uh, like a regular storage device. You yes, and look how small it is. That's wow. crazy. So, so Verbatim's known for making uh, hard drives, but now they're getting into making light. And these aren't just Here. any types of lights, they're LED. So we've had incandescent light bulbs, CFL, which is a compact fluorescent, mm -hmm. and now these LEDs, which are the best lights that you can possibly get right now. These have a lifespan of 40,000 hours. Wow. Like this particular box, it says estimated energy cost per year, $1.02. That's great. Wow. And that's about three hours of light that you would use a day. So these are, I, I recommend everybody switch to these to, to basically, uh, you know, save, save money. Save energy yeah. costs, um, The only caveat is they are a little bit more expensive upfront, but mm -hmm. it's an investment because you're going to save a How lot of money. How much did you say? Uh, they much? run from thirty to fifty dollars, depending on what kind of size that you want. Right. Thirty um, to fifty, okay. So they're gonna and, last you a long time. And and they're they're called retrofit ones too, so so they're gonna work in your you know. Oh, that's in cool. your regular. In your regular your ones, so yeah. and you'll also notice to feel it. It's a little bit heavier, so there's another consideration to take, especially if you're hanging it. This is actually really good to. Some people have really high ceilings where changing light bulbs is, can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. This is something that you would want to consider because uh, you only have to do it once in a blue moon. Like once, and maybe like <laughs> they have a five-year warranty, so you know you're good for at least five years. Oh, good. Whereas a standard incandescent bulb does about a thousand hours. Right. So a thousand so compared like to forty times 40, that. Yeah. Oh, very green, green today, leading the future. Yeah, wow. now you see the theme I got yeah, going on very here. very nice. Okay, one more thing. Okay, one more thing. This is an uh, iPhone charger from a company called Bracton, and it's really cool because it has this, first of all, it's a travel kit, so you can basically pop it out like this, but it has this button, so what happens is if you don't need to charge anymore, you can just press this button to turn it off. Once your device oh. is fully charged, it actually shuts off because when you leave oh, stuff plugged right. in, mm -hmm. you're using vampire power right. where right. it's still sucking energy. So this is a great solution because you're not going to have that, that what kind of problem. A great idea. Yeah. Okay. So you press it and there's your boom yeah, right there. This is your boom. <laughs> there's the boom. We're waiting that's, for it. That's the boom. So it's a really simple solution. If you like to leave your stuff charged all the time, this? just uh, charge it and it'll shut off and you're not losing any more energy. 
Good That's for you, great. Andy. That's a great idea. Yes, so can you use this for iPad as well? Something. Of course, you can use it for iPads. Uh, they have okay. a micro USBs as well, so different types of models. Excellent. Yeah. All good. right, here's where you can get more info on all of that stuff. Go to the Get Connected website where you can find Andy. It's getconnectedmedia.com. Nice photo. <laughs> the upgrade. Lisa, yeah, I know. Where, what happened to the sunglasses you had in the last photo? <laughs> I don't know. Someone wanted me to change it, I guess. Yeah. You I look just, like, so conservative. I was too cool the other one. <laughs>